hello friends today i'm going to show you how i have implemented the user login and logout section so for that i have used a package that is json web token you can get it directly from the npm and that has been used throughout the application to handle the user session okay so let me log out first so as you can see we have this login page where where i have the email and password field to provide by the user once user will provide the username and password he will be logged into the site and user, uh, he will be able to access the page which are, which are not allowed without login like users if you can see i can go to home page i can go to register page and other pages as well but not able to go to user page whenever i've been clicking on the users it's redirecting to the login page so if i try to log in first with some invalid user id it will give me the error and then if i give the correct user id and password email and password in this case is it will log in me and navigate to the corresponding page here you may have noticed that it's sending me to the users page instead of home page let me show you again in this case i'm redirected to home page not the users page this is because of the users activity let's see currently i'm trying to user trying to access the users page right you can see I'm sending the url here the users I'm trying to access the users page now I am trying to log in here so it will send me to the users page the page to which I am trying to access so this looks very simple application here very simple implementation here but you know in this case we have to handle a lot of things the username password that to be passed to the server and in turn from the server we'll get that token jwt token and it will we will set it either in cookie or in local storage or in session so let me explain the process here so if you see the here we have three layers angular the ui layer the node.js the server layer and the db i'm using mysql and in the login section we will have the login page first the view or html of the login component where user will provide username email and password then user will click on the login button so from here when user will click on the login button we will initiate or we will call the service we have given the name as auth service so auth service will be called and from that service function we will send the username and pass email and password provided by the user to the node server the api endpoint say user slash login this is the endpoint node endpoint so from there what it will do it will first send the details username and password in my case email and password to the database using a select query and from there if the user has provided the correct info user info then the database query will return the result set the user info user details like user first name last name photo date of birth etc and then it will send these details to the node server and from node it will uh, when it will get those details it will create the json web token the jwt token it will create it will sign it and it will send us the response to the front end side along with the other details the user info details username uh, user first name last name photos etc and with that the token will also be coming to the front end so that in front end what it will do uh, it will store the token in the cookies or local storage uh, in my case i am using local storage so so this is the flow now today i'll be covering this angular section 
hopefully this i'll try to make it in three part i'll not i don't want this video to be very much longer so i'll make it in three part today i'll cover the angular section then uh, the api endpoint how we create the token and assign it with some key and then probably we'll uh, we'll also cover the can deactivate can activate and can activate children in some another video so let's start so first i'll start with the login component here as you can see we have this form here this form is having only the input field for the email username and the password and user will click on the login button so this is the output once user click on this login button what will happen this will call the submit submit function here and if this form is valid user have given proper data there we'll call the service we have the authentication service and login method there we will call this with the username and the password provided by the user this authentication service let me go to authentication service now the login method here we have the login method which has two parameter username and password in our case the username is the email it will call the api the post method in api service this this post will only call the only use the http service and trigger one post api call this will give us the details whether user is valid or not the provided email and password is valid or not and if it's invalid or we get the status as fail or something else not success in that case we'll show invalid user credentials as you can show now let me try to show you invalid login credentials and if it's provided the correct details we'll get the username user info will get it from the just an api response and we'll create one object there with id username path, uh, first name last name photo status and the auth token that this auth token will get from the api response using the jw token this this auth token has been created now we will set it in local storage by doing the stringify so here one point is that if i set it in local storage user will not be logged out if he also close the browser then also he will be logged in right so if i if i log in here let me log in so say i'm logged in here right i now close the browser i'll open it again and try to access the users page you can see i'm still logged in since local storage is not cleared right? so if you want you can uh, do some mechanism like on browser close you can clear this local storage or something like that even even you you can implement something if user is inactive or idle for half an hour you can clear the local storage and you, you can redirect the user to the login page i'll try it someday to create that video on this topic also so for today let's start with the local storage uh, cookie is another option that is also good option so for the sake of simplicity i'm using local storage now so i have already set the current user details in the local storage and also i have one subject I am triggering the next of that subject. So, what is the requirement of this subject now? So the requirement of subject is here. 
you can see I have log out here log log out link here now in this case log in if I click on submit if I click on login button we will not have this login button anymore instead we will get the log out button right so this is in uh, header component in header component so we need some uh, event handler so that there this header component can understand that user has logged in right so that he can display logout button like this so there we have the subscription there of the subject let me show you so this is the header component and as we can see this is the subscribe of that authentication service dot current user so authentication service dot current user subject this is the subject and we have sub subscribed with that subscribe to that current user and on changing of this we're getting those details and in view if you want to see how we have handled this uh, let me show you that also so as you can see we have if we have the current user then show the logout and if we don't have this current user just show the login link that's all and in the same process i have also shown this menu uh, the username and the user profile picture like this one this block and that's the header part now now when we are saying authentication that's done now the part authorization that is when user will access any page any endpoint api endpoint that time also we need to ensure that this page and this api endpoint is accessible by the user right so for in case of user when we will click on this user will call the api let me show you from the start first so i log logged in here and in return from this api we are getting the user info all the details of that user logged in user and the auth key so this is the auth key and this auth key is set in local storage this one uh, with all the user details now I'll try to go to users page and from in users page the API will be called user list and it will give me all the details of the user list now how this is authenticating as you can see this auth token we are sending in the header of each API we will be sending this now whenever wherever we need any kind of authentication authorization kind of thing we need to send this auth token and the node server will handle this or verify this that this auth token has been sent this is the correct one now how this is going we have another subscriber to this to this subject one was the header that i have already shown you and the second is the interceptor you know the interceptor right it's the interceptor will uh, intercept the http call in this case and it will uh, modify the header it will it can add anything in the header part currently we are sending setting the auth token and also we can tamper with the api response like we are i'm handling now the status so let me let me explain this So uh, here I have that auth service dot current user. Anytime one API call will go, it will take the current user from this auth service dot current user, and current user is this one. It's just sending the value of that of of that subject. So from here. It will get the 
details. So the interceptor is directly not subscribed to the subject but getting the value from uh, this subject itself. And here uh, when we have this current user data available we can we can add one header using the set header method request.clone then we can set the set header then auth token and we have the auth token in current user we are setting that one so this one is going going with all the api code now what will happen if i modify this to say i have modified this now let's see we I will see the api call will go but in this case see we logged out and we again navigated to the login page that is because of this api call done with the wrong auth key so if i show you again let me show you see this is auth key it gave me 401 not authorized right here you can see auth token has been modified with the uh, text or the numbers I have provided here. So it's giving me 401. Now API is doing its work. It's giving the 401. It's not authorized. Now how we are handling it to log out, logged out the to log out the user and sending it the user to the login page. So this is the this is the function or the handler I'm doing this. We're handling the request, the response that's coming from the API. So this is the condition where I'm checking. If the status is 401, then we will just log out the user and we'll navigate, reload this page basically. And once reload this page, it will automatically redirect us to login page so that's a simple process so if i change it now and try to log in here it will work perfectly see in this case this correct header is going and status is 200 so it's working perfectly now now the logout if i click on the logout so the header part if i click on the logout the logout function uh, logout function will be called this is the logout function and we are just calling the logout function from the authentication service and navigating to login page here we have the uh, function logout in the service file it's doing only removing the current user from this local storage and uh, from the subject we are sending as null the next so that so the header also gets updated so that's all for this video i have pretty much covered all the things that's required from the front end side angular side and in the next video i will show you how i have handled this token how i have created this token and how i'm doing the verification this authorization part so authentication and authorization I have already shown you in the UI side. Next part, I will show you the authorization authentication in the node side. How it's handling in the node section. How it's sending us the status. So this for this video, for now, that's all. Thanks everyone. So see you in the next video.